Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one, and this is my thank you gift for everybody who came shopping with me in April. Now, I knew that April was going to be an extremely busy month for me because I had um, the last bit of the Easter holidays. Well, actually, I had a big chunk of the Easter holidays at the beginning of the month, and I was away for on stage. So I knew I wanted to make a beautiful project, but that would I could do with very little working time. So I took the craft bags that we have in our catalogue and then I took the tiger bag accessory kit which is where this has come from apart from the stamping now the craft bags have not retired but the accessory pack has um, there are still some available however when the retiring list came out uh, last week or the week before I cleared everything off my shelf and donated it all to my son's school and then I realized that I didn't have any tiger bag accessory bits and pieces left other than the ones that were all attached to um, other gifts so I am going on a wing and a prayer here and we are going to make a version of it using some framelits and they are framelits I've never used before so what I've got here and what's inside are some gorgeous chocolates so I'm going to open up this pack here because this is brand new um yeah I donated all of my um uh, part packs of ribbons buttons um inks all sorts everything that had been part used I donated to the my youngest two boys who go to the same school I donated it to their school I had two massive boxes of stuff that I took down to them part packs of paper and things like that and yeah and I wasn't very sensible and I donated those forgetting that I needed them so but yeah these are the craft bags gorgeous there's 10 in a pack and I love them and what I've got inside are three of the little dime bars these are the mini ones and I went to Ikea oh, a couple of months ago now and I stocked up because I knew I was going to be using them so I've just popped three in there and I folded over almost in half but I did want the difference stapled it shut and then in the accessory pack um, that you got like I say it is still available there were some doilies now I did manage to ha I did find one of those randomly loose in my box and you can see it was folded um, so I did have one of those but you know there might be other doilies on their way so basically I you know just pop a doily or something pretty maybe some pretty ribbons and what I've got here are the tags and labels framelits and I'm going to do a little bit of framelit work with them I want a piece of whisper white which I forgot to get out so let me grab that so I've got my piece of whisper white and I've got some um, pattern paper this is our background stacks and this one is rich Razzleberry from the brights collection and I really don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> I'm just going to play. What shall we do? Shall we? Go? I, do you know what? I think I'm going to. I think I'm going to have the biggest of these ones on that, and then I'm going to take. I'm sliding. Maybe I need a bit of ridge raspberry cardstock as well. I think I do. It's good. Good thing my shelves are nearby. So we'll have that. We'll have the next one down. In that and then we'll have white on this one I think so I can get this so I can sort of mimic the layering effect that we've got here I'm working on this as a theory so let me cut these bits down to size so I can cut them all in one go and then I can run them all through the big shot at the same time Ooh, this isn't this isn't regular whisper white this is thick I want the thinner one actually you know what that was um, shimmer paper okay so let's bring in my big shot I now have a big shot station on my desk oh, love it which means I can do big shot work all of the time okay. so I have got my magnetic platform on here so this is the magnetic platform and then I've got my cutting base and let's layer these up so that's the biggest one with the pattern and we'll take this one down here the last time I did big short work I put my framelit on the wrong way up let's try and get it the right way up and then the smallest one there and then that over the top and I'm going to run it through and I'm going to bring it back again because I don't know it's just it's just me I just do it like that partly probably because I also couldn't pull it out the other side very well okay. 
So that one's popped out. That one's popped out. And that one's popped out. Yay! It worked. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see how it all looks together. So I'm going to put that one over there. And like I say, I'm mimicking this sort of border idea. So I'm going to smell that on directly. These are cute framelits, aren't they? I really like these. And I'm going to dimensional that one. I, I really don't do a lot of Big Shot work, mostly because my Big Shot has lived under my desk until now. Um, but I have more space. I've, I've kind of reorganised my desk a bit, so it's up here all of the time. And Oh, that's cute, isn't it? Oh, I like that. Okay. So I put that on there. I'm going off to one side. And then I, again, the accessory pack came with these tiny little paper clips. They're tiny, but they're really stiff. Um, so I'm going to go with our bow paper clip. And pop that on there at a little slightly jaunty angle. Although I think the bow might be a bit big. Um, we'll run with it anyway. No, that's okay that's quite cute um, and then the stamping yes I can do the stamping that hasn't retired so I've got the homemade for you which is one I used earlier in the week actually isn't it amazing how much you use stuff that you've forgotten you had and loved when the retiring list comes out and you've got bare shelves but it's okay crumb cake ink I went with crumb cake because it kind of looked you know these these craft bags are gorgeous um, we don't have a color that exactly matches but I reckon crumb cake was quite close so for you on there, one inch circle punch. And it's for you with love because, you know, everybody who shops with me, I'm massively grateful to. And so I wanted them to know that I was, you know, I was sending it with love. One and a quarter inch circle punch. Now I went with crumb cake on that one, but that's because the, the packs that I sent out had lots of different colours. But I'm going to go with that. Oh, maybe I won't go with that. Oh, I don't know that I like that now. No, I'm just going to go with that. Oh, the changeable mind of a poodle. <laughs> this is how my mind works. There you go. Yeah, I like that. So there you go. I was able to kind of make a variation on a theme. What do you think? Anyway, I had I had a lot of fun making these. These were very much an evening job. I have discovered once upon a time the TV series. I know I'm completely I'm five years out of date, but I've discovered it. So I've had many a lovely evening putting together my packs and putting all my sweeties in. And I hope they've been really well received because they were sent with love and a huge amount of gratitude. Anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me. Hope to speak to you very soon. Bye.